zero FXB quashen UVK five K six. Someone asked me how can I scan the air band frequencies in the UK one one eight megahertz to one three seven megahertz. We're running Exuma firmware on here. At the end of this video, I'll link in a video that shows you how to install the Exuma firmware. But anyway, to scan, all you do is put your scan ranging first. So on the A band, so press and hold the two. So the arrow is at the top. Put in the, the 118 frequency, so we're going to go 118. And it doesn't have to be air band, you can do any range. But anyway, 118, and on the B band, press and hold the 2, the arrow moves down, and then we're going to put in 137 megahertz. So we go 137, and then 0. Okay, now to make sure you're in AM, and it already is, you just press the 0 look. I just go exit. Well, you do it when you're actually scanning, but you're in AM by default anyway, and this will have the AM fix selection as well. So depending on where you want the scan range to show, if you move the arrow to the top by pressing hold two, and then hold down five, there's your scan range, 118 to 137. And all you do to make it scan, if you want to just select your step, go menu, and go up and down and step, press menu again, and then choose the step you want. 8.33 seems common. I always actually use uh, five, but anyway, put it on 133, menu, exit, and then we're gonna press and hold scan. And it's now scanning, okay? And I recommend you get up on a hill outside your house. You may pick up with the stock antenna some air band inside your house uh, but you you know you, I've got an external antenna here for example going into my roof or outside the house but get on a hill get out in, in your garden you're going to pick up a lot more and most of us are actually near an airport got some we did pick something up there and it will stop and then it will just keep going and you think you know for a 15 16 pound item maybe 20 you have got a scanner. I know it's not the best super duper scanner, but and it scans a vast range. I think it's from 18 megahertz right up to like a thousand megahertz. And um, so, uh, well worth doing the Exuma update. And big thank you to Exuma. Well, that's not bad audio, is it? Don't forget, it's not real FM. I mean AM. It's it's all sort of pretend AM, but it it sounds fine. help it along by just pressing the up arrow so it's going round and squelch level you just go menu and look number one squelch level exit so um, let's just turn that down so another thing you can do is if you just come out of this by going just holding down the F sorry the five and you'll go back into sort of normal window and you can type frequencies um, try this one go F then five go F Five. And you get this sort of spectrum scope. You can see, see the different activity there. This is quite a cool way of scanning because it flicks back and forth as they talk. And you can change the mode by pressing, not that you need to, the FM. And you can go to, you watch what it does. USB, <laughs> FM, and you want AM, of course, for airband. You can actually sort of change in the top corner here, it says 2500K. You can actually press, let me have a look here. Pretty sure you can press one and seven. Yeah, it's changing that. And look at the scope. And the seven makes changes as well, look. <laughs> I mean, come on. How cool is that? And then move it up as it, to make it just keep going. So at the end of this video, at the end of this video, we shall show you how to load Exuma on your UV K5, K6, K8, K everything. Um, they're all the same, really. Uh, the modified ones, what they basically add is the ability to have HF below 18 megahertz. And, and it works well if it's done correctly. So that's it, really. 
Let's see if we get any more airband. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. M0 FXB Bofeng UVK5 K6. Someone asked me to load the latest Exuma firmware. You're going to need this cable. I'll put the link in the description. Plug the cable in here, just the twin pins there, into your PC as well. When you plug it in your PC, go to your Windows squares here, right click. Let me just move this radio on the Windows square. Device Manager, double click, and then go here, look, USB serial CH340, so it's CON3, that's the number you want. So now back to the Exuma link, uh, which is just here. Now I'll put the direct link in, this is via browser, so you don't have to download anything, is what I like, so connect your cable. Uh, and it automatically puts the latest Exuma there, which looks like it's 22. And then you need to put it into firmware mode. So turn off the radio. Like so. And push the PTT and turn on. And the torch comes on, blank screen, and you're in firmware mode. And then just press flash, and it's going to ask for that COM3. Do that again. And we're looking for COM3. Where is it? Um, I did find it. There it is there. Connect. And it just flashes. And it's really good firmware. We'll have a quick look at the instruction manual page as well. But one of the neat ones is you can hold down the 5 and, you, and it will scan between a start range and a finish range. Let it do its thing. That's it. Reboots. And just for example, you can see here, and it's got the airband fix, so it's going to be the best sounding airband for one of these budget radios. But anyway, if you press and hold, if you type in a frequency further, for example, 145 there on the A band, and to go to A and B, just press and hold 2, and it goes up and down. So on the A band, we type in 1. Four, five, let's go 800. For example, go to the B band, press and hold, leave that at 1 400, and then press and hold 5, and you've got a scan range start and finish. Exit. Will it let me exit? I'll PTT, I bet. Yeah, to come out, you actually hold down the 5 again, and to go back in, and you can have it at the top or the bottom if you come out. And go to the press and hold to the A band and then press the 5 and it scans when you press and hold the scan it's quite fast actually it's scanning now between those parameters you you can set the you know the frequency step so it's very fine at the moment and also you can stop it with the PTT you can also if you press and hold let me just do this Press and hold 5, well, let's stop it first, press and hold 5, then get this time, go, go F, then 5, and you get the whole, you can, you're scanning now, but you can actually visually see it, so that's pretty cool, and then the, there's a thin white line there, just above the threshold, let me unplug this, it is that sort of weird squashed AM, if you ask me, um, but, you know, it's a £20 radio. So to bring the sort of squelch line up and down, you just you move it up and down with the F. Look at that. Down with the F. Up. Up with the scan. And then adjust it accordingly. To change the step rate, press the... This is like the frequency gaps up here in the corner. Press the 1 and this all the 7. And it changes the step rate. Oh. If you press the zero, you actually change the mode. See that upper side band? FM, AM. That's what we're getting there. 
as well. And yes, you, you can type in, you know, you can do the CB frequencies if you want. Uh, let's just exit out of that. F5. Look at that as a frequency input selection there. So let's just go 0 to 7. Oops. Let's just put that in a minute. One sec. Right back to the beginning. So we're going to go 0 to 7, 5, 5, 5. On the B, uh, we'll go zero to nine, um, five, five, five again. Then press and hold five, and then we'll go. Well, you know we can just press scan, or if we exit a minute. Oh, press and hold F five. And then we're in the scanning, and now we're scanning the, scanning the CB, and we can bring that down. We need a CB antenna, otherwise you're not going to pick up much, because you need the right antenna for the right band. You know, that's the one thing to remember. Air band, if you stand outside with the stock antenna, you're actually going to do something. That'll be okay. Uh, but when it comes to um, a CB band, you need a, really, you need a much longer antenna. Um, so, and if you're going to do any bands, unusual frequencies that this radio can get now, it's got Exuma. You're going to need to swap around the antennas or just take off the antenna that you've got. Get yourself a disc cone, put it in the loft and then just screw it, you know, screw with an adapter. And there's lots of adapters. Just look up SMA adapter. Yeah. And then you can add your external antenna. But anyway, this was really more about just loading up the latest firmware easily in 2025. Bye for now. Airband scanning with the Quasheng UVK5 or K6 using Exuma. You can scan using the Spectrum. You can just type the frequency. Or when using Exuma, just press the F5. That's your Spectrum. Or just hold down the 5 and scan the parameters that you have put on the A and the B as A, hold down two, B, A, whichever parameters you enter become, hold down the five, the scanning range, and you start the scanning by pressing and holding the star, and it's now scanning. How cool is that? Change your step and squelch by going menu, Squelch one and step on two. Enjoy your air band and other band scanning and watch the M0 FXB YouTube channel. Please subscribe. 7-3, all the best.